Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali from Ahmed Acrylics, and today we're going to make a really interesting painting I'm going to call Shooting for the Stars. It's a cloud and galaxy painting, so I hope you guys enjoy. So, as you just saw, I'm going to be using the Fix Smith 8x8 canvas. First thing I'm going to do is actually tape all my sides just because I like that crisp edge after the painting. So once you're done all that, the first color we're going to be using is Thalo Blue. So apply Thalo Blue on the top of the canvas, followed by Cerulean Blue in the middle of the canvas. And then finally, Turquoise at the bottom. And if you want, you could also put White at the bottom, bottom of the canvas. So we're going to get right into it. Take a clean brush and then start spreading the Thalo Blue from left to right. Make sure to get all the edges under the tape too, because sometimes you can actually miss that and it gets really annoying to fix later on. And just start spreading it evenly if you can. Then with the same brush, you want to grab onto the cerulean blue and start spreading that as well. Same rule applies, try to get all the ends as well because they're easy to miss and just keep spreading it. Once that's done, you want to take the turquoise and start doing the same thing with this as well. Start bringing it up slowly. And then finally, for the white, you want to take the same brush and start spreading that as well. Slowly bring it up. And if it gets kind of hard to blend in, I would suggest cleaning your brush completely, drying it, and then trying to do it between the lines that are not blending. And as you can see, it actually starts to clean it up and make it look like it's blended. So I obviously want my galaxy to be at the top of the painting, so I'm actually going to use more phthalo blue to make the top darker. I also want the contrast from the top and the bottom to be really dramatic, so I'm adding more white to the bottom, so the bottom is lighter. Once you're all done with that, you want to let the entire canvas dry, and once it's dry, take a sponge, put some white on it, and start making clouds. These are the base clouds, so you don't have to go crazy with them, but just kind of try to make cloudy shapes. On certain spots press more than others just to kind of give it that depth look and feel free to put more white onto the sponge if you have to Once that's all dried up, what you want to do is actually take a brush and start making more clouds onto those clouds. The way I make clouds is I make a strong white top and then I kind of try to blend that into the bottom. There's no right answer on how many you want to make, so make as many as you'd like.
I'm also redoing the clouds that I made before just because I want the top to look a lot brighter. So that's what I'm doing right here. And then do the same thing. Take that white and kind of slowly blend it downwards. Now that we're done with the clouds, we can begin the galaxy. So take a sponge, put some phthalo blue on it and a little bit of white and start making a cloudy shape, but a really big one. So do the same thing you did with the clouds on certain spots, preferably the middle, press a bit harder so that there's more paint that comes out of the sponge. Once you're done with that, let's add some details to the galaxy. So take a small brush, put some white on it and a little bit of water and start adding lines to make an outline for the galaxy. And then with a wet brush, you kind of want to blend that white into the galaxy and it gives it that nice 3D look. I'm going to be taking some Prussian blue mixed with phthalo blue to kind of give the galaxy more depth. So I'm actually adding this to kind of take away from the galaxy and then you'll see how the galaxy looks a bit more alive. So I'd suggest doing this to a couple spots. You don't have to go crazy with it, but I'd say go three or four different cloudy shapes and kind of just add some phthalo blue at the bottom to give it more depth. So once you've done that, what you can do now is add your stars. So take a big brush, put a little bit of white on it and a bit of water, and then start flicking it with your thumb. Off camera, I added a couple clouds on my own, so you could do the same thing. It's just to make the sky look a bit more full. I'm also re-adding some outlines just because I want it to look a bit more brighter near the middle. So you could do the same thing if you'd like. And now I'm going to add a couple stars but a bit bigger one so I'm going to do it by hand. I'm just going to take a brush and make a couple different spots where I'd like to make it and then I'd keep adding white in the middle so it looks like it's bright. I sped it up a bit just so I don't bore you but I'm essentially just blending it out and then adding white over and over in the middle just so it looks bright. So 
So now it's time to make the person reaching for the star. You can choose whoever you'd like. I'm just going to make a boy. I messed up a little bit on the ladder, but it really doesn't matter. So painting just for fun, so don't stress too much. So just to make it look like the ladder is coming out from the clouds, I'm going to add some clouds over the ladder, so you can do the same. Thank you for watching guys, let me know what you think in the comments below, I'd love to hear it. Um, these are the colors that I used, and then these are the supplies that I used. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, I would love that, it would help the channel a lot. Take care guys.